At the beginning of this video, we have the Power Rangers Squadron, a recently formed team whose existence has been a mystery until now. Although not much is known about them, the evidence of their presence has been right in front of us. So let's delve into this topic. In this episode of Power Rangers Unsolved, I, Dusty, welcome you all and introduce a new series where I discuss mysteries within the Power Rangers franchise. If you have any mysteries you want me to explore, leave them in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Many of you haven't subscribed yet, so subscribe today for the best Power Rangers content. You can always unsubscribe later. Now let's dive into this intriguing mystery. Hey everyone, it's Dusty here, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm starting a new series called Power Rangers Unsolved, where we'll be exploring mysteries in the Power Rangers franchise. If you have a mystery you want me to investigate, leave it in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe and enable notifications. A large portion of you still haven't subscribed, so subscribe now for the finest Power Rangers content. You can always unsubscribe later. Now let's jump into this enigma. What's up everybody? Dusty here, welcoming you back to another video. Today I bring you a brand new series called Power Rangers Unsolved, where we'll be delving into mysteries within the Power Rangers franchise. If you have any mysteries you want me to solve, leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Many of you haven't subscribed yet, so make sure to do so for the best Power Rangers content. You can always unsubscribe later. Now let's get right into this mystery. Now let's discuss Power Rangers Super Mega Force. As you may know, this season was an adaptation of the Super Sentai Anniversary season, Kaizoku Sentai Gokaiger. In this season, the team could transform into every previous Super Sentai team, including the Power Rangers Squadron or their Sentai counterpart, Gosei Sentai Day Ranger. They also incorporated multiple pre Zuranger teams. If you're not familiar with Zuranger, it's the team that later became monumental in Power Rangers. However, this posed a challenge when adapting Power Rangers Super Mega Force for an American audience since a significant amount of footage became unusable. In Power Rangers Super Mega Force, they introduced the main five Day Ranger suits in the episode Earth Fights Back. These suits were described by Gosei as new powers that had never been seen on Earth before. Later in the season, Troy refers to his team as the Legendary Squadron. In an earlier casting side for Power Rangers Super Mega Force, the Day Rangers were referred to as Star Force. Additionally, in the Indonesian dub of Super Mega Force, they were called Star Ranger. So Day Rangers, Star Rangers, it all adds up. James W. Bates, the story editor for Power Rangers Super Mega Force, explained that they simply utilized the available footage after the episode Earth Fights Back aired on Nickelodeon in 2014. Some fans were delighted to see the Day Ranger suits finally making an appearance, while others were upset, seeking an explanation for their sudden inclusion in the show. However, it seems that the decision was primarily driven by the available footage rather than a specific story reason. The Legendary Squadron mode appeared in a total of four episodes of Super Mega Force, while other teams like In Space, Time Force, and Lightspeed Rescue didn't receive a full team Legendary mode morph in the season. This discrepancy is indeed. 